Short Me Tina once again from shortmetina.com with a morning recap on ticker HMNY. Uh, quite unusual. Uh, my recaps typically come after hours, but I said, you know what, let me try to do um, a morning recap on ticker HMNY because it was down something like 28% yesterday. Uh, I believe AMC came out with a, a similar um, monthly subscription program, a little higher price. And I think um, the streets were not, uh, I guess they saw it as uh, more competition uh, for HMNY. And so the stock sold off uh, to the tune of around 28%, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. At any rate, so I've done multiple videos on HMNY. And while I am long the stock, when I went into it, it was from complete speculation, right? It was a speculative bet. And so I, my risk, and it still is, my risk is very much so defined and controlled. Um, but I knew that the stock was in trouble when it had this big break here at uh, $2 and it couldn't recover, right? So on 5.8, we had this massive break um, stock with huge range. You can't see the volume. I'm a on above average volume the next day similar huge range uh, selling on above average volume so investors were actually really jumping ship and so for those who like to uh, you know they they like to catch a falling knife when the stock hit 55 cents I mean I, I don't think it would be wrong for anyone to think at that point you'll get a small pop or selling has been overdone Again, selling has been overdone and perhaps, uh, you know, that would have been the low going forward, 55 cents. But then this is why I say, you know, typically you don't want to, especially with huge moves like this, going from $2 to 55 cents, huge range, huge move on above average volume, continuous selling. Those are the knives you don't want to catch, right? So lower 55 cents, folks probably thought, well, this is a great deal. Let me jump in here. Um, I believe I also took a position around that mark. Uh, this proved to be uh, erroneous, at least in the shorter term, because the stock went in to put on to put in a, a new low several days later. The low was fifty cents. So for folks, again, try. So around this time, I guess my my messaging changed. Right? It was like, well, we need the stock to stabilize. Let the stock put in a low base a little bit, then you can think of jumping in because right now the stock is trying to find a floor or a footing, and it hasn't found it thus far. Right? So fifty cents here. You know, we're thinking, okay, that's it, no more lows. Then you fast forward a couple of days later, 33 cents. Fast forward again, 30 cents. So the stock continuously or continues to put in lower lows, which means that it has not found a floor yet. Investors still has not, they have not decided on, well, what is a good low for this stock? Uh, and sitting at, despite, well, we closed at 31 cents, but there's a bit of a, um, gains in uh, pre-market. I think it's up something like 3%. I think it went as high as 35 cents. But that's on, you know, that's on, in my opinion, like insignificant volume. So I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even pay attention to that. So based on uh, price action yesterday and trading activity, I expect the stock to retest uh, yesterday's low of 30 cents. And I think it's going to break, right? So when the stock dips into the 20 cents mark, if you're on the sideline from a risk reward perspective, and obviously do your own research from a risk reward perspective, I personally think that that might be uh, a decent area to jump in, right? So, cause what's your downside? Your downside is it potentially the stock is going to go to zero, right? You're going to lose 28 cents uh, per share, you know, whatever amount of shares you decide to buy. What's your upside? Well, in theory, right? I'm not saying it's going to get there. In theory, your upside would be the stock's high, which I believe was sometime last year in November, don't quote me, when the stock went as high as around $45. That's your potential high. Do I think it's going to get there? No time soon. Absolutely not. I think getting over a dollar would be great for us at this juncture. Uh, so that's my take. Um, again, I do believe we're going to probably put in new lows today, but from a risk reward perspective, getting an, getting a stock at 20 cents that has the potential to be explosive, the company, um, is a bet I'm willing to take. And uh, I potentially might actually uh, add to my position, my final ad uh, at around uh, 20 something cents. So that's my take uh, on ticker HMNY. Head on over to shortmetina.com, sign up, become a member. Thank you for listening. And as always, thank you for